The final stage of cast construction is actually putting the hoops on. The hoops themselves would all be custom made and um, it's important that the hoops go in the right place on a cast because they have a certain job to do. And their main role is to firstly support the staves throughout the whole length of the vessel and also to squeeze it all up together so it's all really nice and tight. The hoops themselves, if you look at the riveting, they all run in line on what we call the bung stave. Um, so, and, and lots of things run in line with the bung stave. You know, if you look at uh, the back head in, the grain of the head should run in this direction. If it was the front head, it'd run in the opposite direction. And that would give the cast stability if there's any movement in the vessel. So we can actually uh, start now by driving the hoops. Um, again, we're going back to our hammer and our driver. It starts off as a gentle tap, working our way around slowly. And as the, the hoop becomes a little bit tighter, we can start increasing the blows. And so the harder we can drive the hoop, the more it's going to squeeze it all together. Now, the, uh, the end hoop, um, when you make the hoop, it will be slightly proud of the end of the cask itself. We can tap it down slightly by using the hammer, but the actual final driving of the hoop to ensure that that hoop goes down perfectly flush, uh, we've got a tool called a maul. Now this tool is basically like a big lump of iron bar, but it's actually shaped. So when you actually strike the, uh, the end hoop, you're actually hitting a much larger area of the hoop with one blow. Whereas if you just use a conventional hammer, you're only covering a small area of the hoop. So there's a tendency that you can actually kink the hoops over. So the maul itself, um, it's, it's more about actually guiding the tool. There's enough weight in this rather than sort of going, driving it down with lots of force. So you can just start off quietly. Okay, I've just got a slight lip there on the end, which is what I want because it's protecting the end of the staves. So um, I'm, quite, I'm quite happy with that. And then just to finish off now, we'll just go and tap what we call the quarter hoop, which is this one. As I'm actually driving the hoops, I can hear a slight ringing of the barrel, which is a good indication that uh, everything's as it should be.